Well, hello there and happy Friday to all of my Leos. Today kicks off Venus entering Gemini, right? We know that Venus is the planet of love and that's agape, arrows, and every other kind of love in between. Beauty, creativity, money, your values, your sentiments, how you create, what brings you pleasure. So this is where you're going to have to, if you're thinking about expansion, you're not thinking recession, right? You're not even speaking that into existence, right? I don't care what else is going on out there in the third dimension. You're talking expansion, 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 right? So the word recession shouldn't even come out of your mouth. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. The energy has already been clear. Leos, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm talking to you if you have Leo anywhere in your chart. Anywhere in your chart, I am talking to you. Again, this is a general reading. We are currently in cancer season, and I'm letting you know, like I'm letting all signs know, any of the giveaways. And congratulations to the Leo who won uh, as part of the giveaway earlier today. But all of the giveaways during cancer season, or, or every sign is, you know, every sign can participate, right? This is, I'm opening it up to every sign. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into your reading. All right, somebody loves money, 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 money. Somebody is thinking about love, relationships, and all money. Perfect alignment. I love it. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So new money is somebody is looking for new ways to make more money. Somebody is thinking about settling down, possibly. You know, whether it's in a business relationship or a romantic relationship or both. And again, I'm seeing perfect alignment with your money. So if you are thinking recession there's no way you can even understand what this is moving forward for you expansion 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 we are still in the cycle of expansion right next full moon phase will be in capricorn so that's where somebody's going to get real disciplined and real responsible about this right here their legacy what is your legacy going to be but right now we're still in the cycle of expansion it's time to finish strong finish strong finish strong here we have the six of cups the seven of wands and the ten of cups yes i love it somebody is also thinking about when you when you think about let's say you're, you're thinking about dating or getting into a romantic relationship because again venus entering gemini gemini is ruled by mercury the messenger planet how you communicate, how you express yourself in words and writing and how you use reason, right? So again, somebody is going to make it make sense by talking to source and saying, okay, the next time, this is if, you're, if you desire to date, the next time I date, I'm going to date with this in mind. Would I leave my inner child with this person? Do I feel comfortable enough to leave my inner child with this friend or potential lover or potential spouse? Would I leave my inner child with that person? If the answer is, well, no, it's a no. If it's not a firm, yes, I trust this person. This person has shown me a track record that X, Y, Z, whatever, because this is what I'm seeing coming your way. I see somebody in a very harmonious relationship and you all are making big money together. So yes, this is you protecting your inner child. This is not you just so being so desperate you wanna be in a relationship or who's paying you the most attention. Would you feel, I mean, I was about to say something, but certain deviant minded behavior, people pay people a lot of attention to, right? Pay children a lot of attention. So if you're talking about protecting your inner child, this is not about letting your ego get in the way, trying to edge God out, ego, edging God out. This is about, do I really trust this person? To really trust them with my inner child, not because they're paying me attention and just because, you know, they make me feel good with their compliments. No, uh-uh. Do I trust them? Do I really have they shown a track record where I can trust them, right? Yeah, so here we have the Six of Cups and also the Seven of Wands. Somebody's going to sit down and meditate on it. Somebody's really going to sit down and meditate on expansion, right, and have childlike faith really trust in source, right? Because remember, Venus entering Gemini is really, really about talking to God about the things, people, places, and things you love, beauty, creativity, your money, your values, your sentiments, how you create. And a lot of it, you got to finish strong. A lot of money is here. A lot of money is here. Your person is here. Your soul tribe is here. All of that is just waiting. If you got anything blocking it, it's time to get release it. It's time to take a blowtorch to it and just release it. Release it into the universe. Any negative thoughts in your mind, any jealousy, any envy, any inflexibility, any pride, um, being dogmatic and prideful, blowtorch, blowtorch, blowtorch. Any competition in your mind, blowtorch. 
you don't have any competition. You're ruled by the sun. So let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Again, this is your Friday reading. This is your Friday reading. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yeah. So, wow, okay. We have the world card, and we also have the... Um, we also have the death rebirth card, right? So a new cycle is beginning, So, but something has to end. Something has to end. Somebody has to get more serious about their long-term goals, their duties, their responsibility, their coins, their money. We know we have a coin shortage, but again, if you're thinking recession, if you're even saying it out of your mouth, this is what you're releasing into the universe. I don't care what you hear in the news. If you keep hearing it on the news, you need to turn the TV off because you are not in a recession. It's too much money in your cars. You just need to get away from the hostile thoughts. The hostile, the frustration, the anger about something. Some, you need to find something. Get outside and, and recharge in the sun. But you need to get as far away from hostility and those thoughts as possible. Anything you may be conjuring up in your mind because you're afraid to be in this new phase, about to head into this new cycle... You need to get your feelings together. We're entering into a new cycle on the 29th of this month in cancer. Cancer is the I feel sign. Somebody need to get them up out of their feelings, right? You, if your feelings are vibrating low, okay, it's something you need to blow torch in your life. Something you need to blow torch. Come on, it's time to finish strong. Here we have the five of wands. The five of wands, yeah. Somebody has been dealing with some... Um, family issues some ancestral stuff like some some um hmm something has been exposed i'm looking at something has been exposed in somebody's family that um this is interesting i'm gonna come back to this in a second because it's a lot of information is coming down here we have the six of pentacles so again the increase of money so again if you are, your whole mindset should be vibrating high. No competition, no arrogance, no none of that. This is not why I got to show people that I'm X, Y, and Z. That's something that you may have to fight up against, right? I was about to talk about a, a certain celebrity that made a comment online earlier today, but I'm going to refrain <laughs> from that because I said, Ugh, this energy is trying to save face and they really shouldn't have said anything. They just could have kept it because again... I mean, it, it makes for news when you don't control your ego. You know, people like drama, but not everybody wants that in their life. If you're thinking expansion and you let your ego take center stage, you really could throw yourself into a recession, right? You could really throw yourself into a recession because what does recession mean by definition? A period of economic decline. You could be ruining your own money if you can't, if you can't get your ego together. Yeah, you got to get away from the negative thoughts, the low vibrating energy thoughts and, and rechannel that energy into putting that lion behind you and, and going after what you want. And I'm seeing, like I said, going after what you want. Somebody could be thinking about marrying somebody and already in their mind putting up obstacles, but I don't, you know, I, I don't like their mother. Or I don't like their father, whatever. Burn that. Unless you sit down and you think about, okay, or, you know, I don't want to go into business with somebody again because I was burned the last time, right? All that needs to be burned. Let it go. Release it. You're trying to make room to expand for expansion. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, I don't like the way they, where their family came from. Whose family is perfect? Whose family is perfect? Nobody's family is perfect. Not even the, the character of Jesus in the Bible's family is perfect. So... Let's keep it moving. Let's see what else we have here again. Happy Friday. This is your Friday reading. Even if it goes up early for some of you all, it's your Friday reading. Remember, I wanted to put this reading up because today kicks off Venus entering Gemini, right? Like I said, Venus is the planet of love, beauty, creativity, money, your values, your sentiments, how you create, what brings you pleasure. When people think of Venus, all they think about is love. Love, 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 love. No, it's also, it's not just romantic love because a lot of you all know I'm not talking about just romantic love on my channel. I'm talking about self-love. Self-love makes you move different than a person who is looking for their better half. A person who's looking for their better half will look at themselves and go, oh, I'm getting older. I just need to go pick up the first, you know, hobosexual off the street to, to marry them, dress them up like Ned the Wino, and then present them to everybody. And everybody's looking at them like, mm, okay. 
I see what this is. So when you, you ever see people who just, they just look like they just want to be with somebody. They don't, they didn't take, put the effort or time into just, you know, the self-love. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Like I said, happy Friday to each and every one of you all. And this is going to take, this is going to take, I mean, you're going to be moving differently because again, would I leave these people with my inner child in business? Would I trust them? What does my inner child tell me about this? You ever put a baby in somebody's arms and the baby's just crying, face is just all just bottom lip hanging out like a cash register drawer. They're just sad and crying. Everybody's like, oh my God, that's that's grand, grandma and, or granddad or auntie, uncle, so-and-so. Why is the baby crying like that? Because that baby came out pure consciousness so like we all do and they see the devil in that person. That's why. Okay, let's be direct, okay? Your inner child needs to come out and start making some decisions. How do you feel? That's the key word. How do you feel around your mate? How do you feel? What, what kind of feelings arise? Somebody needs to start listening to their feelings. That's right. But again, somebody is going to be focusing on long-term goals, dreams, ambitions, right? Seven of Swords. Some secrets are going to start coming out about some people. Y'all better start listening to your intuition. Because this Seven of Swords card is letting me know some inner, some, some secrets are going to come out about some people. And whereas, you, whereas before you felt like, okay, maybe I can move forward with X, Y, and Z. Something's going to come out. And the whole situation is going to be over. It's going to be a wrap so that you can expand. Like I said... This month is not playing because when you're talking about expansion and then it follows up, we talk about the full moon in Sagittarius and then the last quarter moon in Aries ramming through those emotions. Source is going to get you up that aisle <laughs> to get married, whoever believes in going up an aisle, an aisle. But a source is going to make sure if marriage is what you want, that's what you're going to get. Or if you want to be in a romantic relationship, I mean, in a business relationship, source is going to make sure it happens for you. So that means it, 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 you know, ends a relationship that you had deep, deep, deep emotions and feelings about. Then, I mean, like I said, you're going to have to ram through those emotions, right? Here we have, take time to breathe out. Just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. It's, it's not even really that serious. If you say you want to expand, just go with the flow. You're a fixed sign. And so sources like sources has to actually put that ram energy in somebody so you can ram through those fixed emotions about something, right? Something that you have deep emotions or feelings about. Abundance planning. I told you it's too much money. If you even say the word recession, you're putting it out in the universe. You are looking for a period of economic decline. That If you even say the word poor or I'm broke or I can't afford. If you're saying all that, if that's part of your vocabulary, remove it because we're in a cycle of expansion. Okay? We're in a cycle of expansion. Let's keep it moving. What's your number for today? What's your number for today? Like I said, things are being exposed left and right around you. And so it's time for you to go with the flow. This is where you need to be more loyal to yourselves than you are to anything else, right? Yeah, of course. The number 31, I am disciplined. That's right, I am disciplined. Your approach to life is, a, is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. That's right, to life. Your number is the number 31, which reduces to four, the earth number. Somebody really needs to get grounded and rooted. Go outside, get grounded and rooted, talk to source. Remember, Venus enters Gemini. Is this my person or if it's not my person? I've been in a relationship with this person. God, is this my person or not? Tell me, I need, I need some answers, God. Like I don't like spinning around in confusion. Is this my person or not? If God says no... Okay, well, God, I've been in this relationship with this person for a minute. Show me. Give me, give me something, God, So, because I'm not sure. And God is going to expose it. God is going to expose it. You can get upset. You can cry. You can whatever you want to do. But you ask God for expansion. But God is going to clean it up for you. So if that means exposing somebody around you. And exposing all kinds of, you know, including your own family members, you ask for expansion. So just.
just go with the flow go with the flow of what god is trying to expose to you okay and continue with your abundance planning that is what i have for you leos and i will see you on sunday bye